Well, I can see her taste hasn't changed, but it isn't like her to want to speak with me unless she wants something. Goddess Aid, thank you for calling me here today. Whatever you need, consider it done. Aren't you forgetting something, Giles? Pardon me, but I don't recall you asking for anything on my arrival. A after all, this isn't a party nor a summoning from the gods. It's merely a request for my presence, which I have provided with no hesitation. That tongue of yours won't help you, son. My gift. After all, how could a mere child approach a god with no offering? Do you not remember what happened the last time you insulted a god? Of course not. Truly, except my most profound regret, I mean no disrespect to you, Goddess Saint. I merely misunderstood the reason for your summons. I promised to bring two gifts on my next arrival. That's better. Next time, be prepared. You're lucky I'm in such a giving mood. Thank you, Goddess Saint. May I ask why I've been summoned today? What's the rush? Do you have some whore to get back to? Of course not. Nothing will get in my way of serving you. I just ask so I can help you with whatever you need as quickly as I can. Very well. Some time ago I had relations with another god, and it seems they no longer want the offspring. Excuse me! Don't interrupt me. Sorry. They left it with me, and I truly don't have the time nor energy to raise another child who needs to learn what it means to be a demigod of misfortune. That's why you're here. I thought it would be great for you to teach them. After all, even with so little power, you've come so far. Giles, I entrust you with them. Where do you think you're going, Giles? I'm not going to stand here while you try to pawn off this problem onto me. You had the fun, time to pay the piper. Oh, but mother, I'm sure the time will fly by. If you leave, I will tell Zeus you'll abandon your mother in her time of need, ignoring her direct orders. And I'm sure the outcome will not be good for you, son. Or well, maybe I tell Zeus this little brat isn't his, because let's be honest, we both have control over people's desires. But he knows your tricks, mother. Unfaithful leading gods to ruin. Who's he going to believe? It's true. If he found out the child isn't his and I lied about it, he would kill the child and cast me to Hades. But you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Either way, you're going to lie about it. This child does not deserve to die because of my mistake. Mother. I'll make you a deal, son. You help me, and I'll lift your curse. And what's going to happen when Zeus finds out about that? I will tell him you showed improvement and deserve not to be shackled by the darkness in your heart. Fine, I'll take this child and do my best, mother. Do we have a deal? Yes, Giles, we do. At any point, if you need something, come back and I'll help if I can. Uh, Tim, come meet your brother. Did you... did you name him after yourself? Of course. Sadly, it wasn't a girl, so just work with what I had. Mother, is... is this him? Yes, Tim, this is Giles, your brother, and from this point on, your teacher. Treat them with the respect you've given me. Holy shit, this kid's like seven! Actually, I'm eight. No, little one, mother's eight. You're a Tim. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'll be nine soon. Giles, I entrust you with this task. Please, do not fail me. I will do everything I can to teach him what I've learned over the thousands of years I've been alive. I'll take him with me. Say goodbye, Tim. Goodbye, Mother. I'll miss you. I will miss both of you, my sons. Well, Tim, uh, this is where <laughs> I live. Um, I know it isn't big like uh, Mother's Palace, but it will do to take care of you. That I'm sure. Um Oh, all right. Um, it's new, I suppose. Well, how much time did you spend at the... Well, I guess you didn't spend much time with Mother, did you? Not, not a whole lot. Well, don't kick yourself, kid. I didn't spend much time with her either. She only invites me over when she needs something, like now. 
So, Is that normal for mothers? For mine, at least. Uh, so yes, from every time I've been able to see it, it is normal. Uh, so this is my hot tub. Uh, I guess if you want to, you can go in it. I don't know why you would. Maybe you like to swim. I don't know. Water's never been my favorite, but this is our bathroom. I don't know if you have to use it, but it's good for showering. Hey, it's awful small. Well, I'm one person. They're right. So, why was I sent with you? Uh, wait, wait, maybe let's get out of the bathroom. You know, um, probably because Mother doesn't want the duties of training you because it is a lot of work. Um, I guess I'll oh. stay here for now. Uh, I'll try to see if I can make this, um, a room for you, maybe. Um, I, I don't have many oh. toys around, but, you know. Uh, I can't hmm. stress this enough. This is where I do most of my studying. So, please don't read out any of the chants in the books, because you might kill us. Just a little bit, you know. Hmm. Um, just, just be careful. <laughs> Even this one? Don't touch them! Oh, I'm sorry! It's it's quite alright. That one... Don't touch that one in particular. Do you know how to read? Um, a, a little bit? God damn it. They had to send me someone who didn't even know the English language. Well, it's the most common, so that's the one I will be teaching you in. I'm sure your Greek's not that good. No. So... Do you even know what, um, I guess I haven't even asked, what god do you descend from? Um, I know mother, but she didn't tell me much about father. That's interesting, I thought you were dropped off. You were never around your father, what, what happened with you? I've only known mother, I assumed we had the same father. Oh no, if it makes you feel better, I don't exactly know my lineage either. I just know I'm a demigod of misfortune, maybe that's my curse. Oh, you won't need to come down here. This is, um, a juice bar, we'll just say. Can I have one? No, because it's not juice, it's liquor, and if you drink it, you'll puke. Oh. And this is my room, but for now, since I'm going to be a great big brother, you can sleep here for now. Oh, okay. What just, are in these don't... drawers? Oh, yeah, yes, please don't rummage around. Uh, those things are oh. mine. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, don't, 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 mm -hmm. don't touch them. Because you don't know where they've been, okay? I don't even know where they've been. Oh, uh, what's so... in that room? Uh, which one? The, in the glass. Oh, well, this is just a display. Uh, I, um, trophies, if you will, things I've collected. I, I even have my own little pocket dimension, like this one we're in, where I go in and store all the collectibles I've stolen from gods. Or traded you can on the deals. Pockets? You can't. Of course you can't. <sighs> what is that like? We just went through it... one. You know, that freaking purple thing I went through? Oh. Hmm. So... Could I do that? Do you have infinite potential and wisdom? I... 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 I'm not sure. Can you fly? Um, no. Can you shoot lightning out of your fingertips? I don't think so. Can you communicate with plants? No. I'm just going to start naming shit. And if I hit one, you just you just stop me. Control fire. Control water. Hear no. people's thoughts. Make people's desires come out. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, kid. I'll give you an example. See, we... <clears throat> well, gods have certain abilities, and sometimes those abilities get passed down to their children. Like you, you are a son of eight. 
a demigod of misfortune. So you should be able to bring out people's desires. I don't like doing it on... <clears throat> well, it's a bit awkward, but I'll do it to you. Mm -hmm. Just so you see how it's like. Okay. Now, Tim, I know that there's something you're hiding, something deep down. Now, why don't you tell me? What is it that you truly desire? I want to be enough for Mother. My little kid, I'm sorry. Even I haven't been able to do that yet. But everything oh. that I can do, I can teach you. Really? My powers don't come from... Well, except for the desire part. None of my powers actually come from my lineage. I had to learn how to control my own aura and be able to meditate until I was able to control myself and control those powers. Everything that I can do, anyone could learn. And especially since you're a demigod, you have potential. See, really? gods, yes, gods have more aura than, than a human. We have more life essence. I've lived for thousands of years, and thus I've been able to harness that power for myself. In fact, uh, mm. I'm not as strong as most gods, but I am just as durable, and it has nothing to do with my actual physique. It's going to keep in shape and all, but everything you need to learn, we can learn here. Now, I had many teachers who were patient with me and helped me through this. And to be honest, kid, I don't know if I want to do it for you. But, you're my brother. Mm -hmm. And I promise, Mother, that I do my best. So, I guess I will. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, brother. Sure. Well, don't touch anything, and I'll get you in the morning for training, all right? All right. If there's anything you need, just ask. Okay. Sweet kid, at least. Can't believe Mother's doing this to me again. Well, every time she needs something, all she does is ask. But this... That kid. Ugh. Ugh, what am I going to do? Am I really going to train it? First we'll see where its potential lies. It can't even bring out people's desires. So it doesn't lack any lineage of power. It didn't uh, get anything from Mother. But still, she seemed to care about the little brat. And if I just let him in a ditch, she'll never forgive me, will she? And she'll tell the other gods, and then she'll really have something on me. But the curse being lifted, now that... That would be good. Alright, Giles. Just man up. Teach a little eight-year-old how to read. Can he use the bathroom by him? I'm sure he can. I showed him where it was. I'm not going to ask. Hey. <laughs> By the gods, this kid's going to kill me. I just know it. Oh, how am I going to bring over women? How am I going to explain I live with my little brother? Oh, don't worry. There's just a little bastard here. I'll just ignore him. He'll go away and cry. No. There's no reason to be rude to the little man. Remember, he didn't choose that life. Besides, if his desire is to truly make Mother proud, then he has his work cut out for him. Just do as you're instructed. That's all you can do. 